China has built a waste-to-energy plant that can dispose of more than 3 million tons of waste a year without burning coal and can generate 1.5 billion in electricity, a technology that even the United States has yet to master. How is waste generated? Will waste-to-energy generation pollute the environment? What challenges will be there if the technology is to be rolled out on a large scale? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. Waste to energy plants burn municipal solid waste, often called garbage or trash, to produce steam in a boiler that is used to generate electricity. This kind of power generation has been around since the 1970s, when some developed countries in Europe and the United States built waste-to-energy plants and started to study the technology of using the heat generated by incineration to generate electricity. By the beginning of the 21st century, more than 1,000 waste-to-energy plants have been built around the world. Compared with many developed countries, China's waste-to-energy technology started relatively late. However, in recent years, with the strong support of national policies, China's waste incineration power generation technology has developed rapidly, which has impressed many Western countries. At present, the categories of waste to energy generation are mainly divided into two types, waste incineration power generation and waste landfill power generation. So, can all garbage be used to generate electricity? In fact, before this, the garbage is first sorted and processed one by one. That is to say, in the process of garbage sorting, some garbage that can be burned but has no recycling value will be sorted out, and then the garbage will be smashed and processed into dry burning balls similar to briquettes. These combustion balls are then sent to a special high-temperature incinerator using advanced machines, and the thermal energy is converted into high-temperature steam through high-temperature incineration which drives the turbine to rotate at a high speed, thereby enabling the generator to generate electricity. For incombustible garbage, special fermentation, anaerobic and other methods are used for treatment, and then through drying and desulfurization technology, it produces methane gas, which is then burned to convert thermal energy into steam, driving the turbine to run quickly, so that the generator would work. In this way, in just a few hours, a lot of garbage that is piled up in mountains would be turned into electricity, and then transmitted to thousands of households through the power grid. So, would waste-to-energy generation pollute the environment? With the rapid development of the modern economy, the global garbage production is increasing day by day, and the overflow of garbage has become a major global concern. According to data, the annual garbage output in Chinese cities is about 1 trillion tons, and the annual cost of garbage transportation and treatment is about 30 billion yuan. If these garbage can be used for power generation, the average localorific value is 2900 kJ slash kg, which is equivalent to 14 million tons of standard coal. That is to say, waste to energy can not only dispose of millions of tons of garbage every year, reducing the huge space occupied by garbage, but also allow the waste to be reused, creating more than 1 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year, which greatly alleviates the current shortage of coal and other energy sources. To sum up, the use of waste incineration for power generation is indeed the best way to solve the waste problem. Many countries are constantly developing and improving waste-to-energy related technologies. However, now that global warming is becoming more and more serious, will this waste incineration power generation cause more pollution and damage to the environment? Because in the process of waste incineration power generation, many harmful gases and substances will inevitably be produced, such as various particulate pollutants, heavy metals, acid gases, highly toxic organic pollutants, ash, dust, and landfill leachate. Among them, the emission of dioxin has attracted widespread attention, because dioxin is one of the most toxic pollutants known to mankind so far, and it is also a first-class carcinogen. Generally, 
When the temperature of incinerated garbage reaches 300 to 500 degrees centigrade, dioxins will be formed during the combustion process of the tail end. Surprisingly, the answer is that as long as waste incineration for power generation is properly controlled, its impact on the environment is very small. First of all, this is a new high-end technology-based power generation method, which can not only fully burn and filter the garbage, but also set up a strictly sealed garbage storage warehouse, which effectively prevents environmental pollution. Secondly, the waste-to-energy plants currently built in China not only have independent patented technologies, but also carry out automatic purification and testing of more than 10 procedures for harmful pollutants generated during the combustion of waste. Emissions will only be allowed if the specified emission standards are met. That is to say, compared with the pollution and damage caused by simple landfill treatment, waste incineration power generation is more environmentally friendly and safer, and at the same time, it also achieves the goals of harmlessness and energy saving. Since China introduced waste incineration power generation technology in 1985, China's waste power generation technology has developed very rapidly. Until today, China's waste incinerator technology has basically achieved localization. Take the Shanghai Laogang Renewable Energy Utilization Center as an example, the largest waste burning power plant built in Qin. This is a waste-to-energy power plant built in China using a new patented technology and is currently divided into Phase 1 and Phase 2. The first phase was put into use in May 2013 and can handle about 3,000 tons of garbage per day. Since the second phase was put into use at the end of September 2019, its daily garbage disposal capacity can reach about 6,000 tons, and the daily power generation is more than 3 million kilowatt-hours. As a large city with a population of more than 20 million, Shanghai has a very large daily waste output. According to a 2017 survey, Shanghai produces an average of 24,700 tons of domestic waste every day. Shanghai has a resident population of nearly 24 million. This means that the annual garbage output in Shanghai is more than 9 million tons. After the second phase of the center was put into use, it basically processed one-third of the garbage in Shanghai. In addition, as the technology continues to mature, its emission standards are also far below the prescribed standards. According to the introduction of technicians from the center, the current emission standard of an incinerator in the second phase is basically equivalent to the emission of a car. Although China's waste-to-energy technology has developed very well, there are still many challenges. First, the promotion of waste-to-energy is restricted by geographical and seasonal changes, and it is easy to implement in developed eastern cities. However, it is difficult for remote and backward cities due to technical, financial and other reasons. In addition, the calorific value generated by combustible garbage is relatively low, resulting in large fluctuations in power generation and poor power stability. Secondly, the operating costs of waste treatment equipment, incineration boilers and power generation equipment are very expensive, while the electricity generated by waste power generation is poor, and its income is low and unprofitable. In addition, it is still necessary to continuously improve the technology and strengthen the detection mechanism for the harmful gases and pollutants generated in the process of waste incineration power generation, so as to maximize the environmental friendliness and sustainable development. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.